Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're playing City Skylines again today. Look at our city, it's growing very, very well. I, I bought all 25 tiles now and I just want to zoom out and show you guys what this looks like. It's a huge, huge area. We have, uh, what is it, 70,000 people in this area so far. Imagine what we're going to have once we're uh, up to this. I got to think several hundred thousand people in here. Uh, now, today I want to do something very special, and that is start a brand new area, and I've got an idea for this, because this area over here has uh, some ore deposits, and I'm thinking, what I want to try is like a little, this happened in my city too, and maybe this happened in yours, but there were surrounding villages or towns that eventually got eaten up by the city expansion, and I'm thinking that we do that here as well, we'll have a little... Uh, village town over here that has sustained itself for a long time off of the ore industry and the big bad city is now going to be encroaching upon its sleepy little hollow out in the country so I want to make a little country town and I I've seen people do this and it requires a very particular aesthetic to make it look uh, right because the small towns are very very different than uh, obviously a, a city is so we're gonna give it a go today before we do that though uh, more subscriber districts and the next one on the list was a subscriber by the name of 1 slash 144 Matt uh, He's been a subscriber or she or whoever has been a subscriber for quite some time And I was trying to think how do I incorporate 1 slash 144 into my uh, city somehow and I, I thought about it Matt you're gonna get a road named after you because that is kind of a neat road name So we're gonna district up this road and I'm gonna name this this highway after you so, whoa, man, it's like I'm drunkenly drawing this. Uh, we'll, we'll straighten that out in just a second. But yeah, this this highway is going to be known as the 144. Uh, let's try to clean this up a little bit so it doesn't look like our city engineers were drinking on the job. A little bubble there. This, <laughs> this is a <laughs> really ugly shape, but it's kind of tough to do a, a serpentine-looking district. The bubbles are fine, but the lines are kind of tough. Okay, let's. Ju we're just about done. Okay, this uh, this will be called the 144. Uh, yeah, that's what it'll be called, the 144. So first person to have a highway named after them in the game. Uh, I want to do the town, and I'm gonna call that after my next subscriber, which is uh, Jelle Hendrick. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, but we're gonna name the little town uh, Hendrick, so I think that's a cool name for a town Let's think about what we got to do here. The, these people are gonna have a very basic uh, On and off ramp system to the highway because that's what they would start with it, Initially in in the province that I live in uh, The towns were right on the highway. So when you would you would drive through a town You'd actually have to slow down on the highway pass through the town and then you would speed up. They've since done uh, bypasses on all but one and the reason they didn't do the one is because there was a, uh, a member of legislative assembly that lived or was from that town and, and managed to lobby the government not to bypass the town because he said it would kill it and in fact bypassing the towns did kill most of them because people don't stop if they've got to go a few kilometers out of their way to get to a town for you know a bag of chips and a Pepsi. Um, so yeah, they were right, but uh, that councillor's hometown got some special treatment. Look at how hilly this area is. You don't notice how hilly it is until you actually get down here to take a look. That is really, really hilly. It's no wonder there's ore under there. So the town would never be built on that. Uh, I'm thinking they would, they would probably want to stay on one of the flatter areas. Now let's see, where do we want to put the town? I'm thinking over in this area here, and then all the industry for the town will be up up in this area and there's gonna be a lot more industry than there are uh, or there there will be uh, residential in in this place at least at first until the city starts to eat this town up and, and kill it so let's think about uh, how they're gonna get on and off the highway as I said I think it would be a very simple thing I'm not gonna build it right up to the highway because that's just impractical in this game but I think if we did just a very simple off-ramp and on-ramp uh, then then that would be perfectly acceptable so let's uh, let's draw this bad boy right there and we'll put a road 
usually they're going to be small roads and they're, in this particular instance I'm going to make them dirt roads because I actually really like that for the, the small town vibe. The dirt roads feel really right for a small town I guess is the best way to put it. So dirt road and then let's get another uh, on ramp going to the freeway. We'll try to make it as symmetrical as possible. Looks pretty good. Uh, one road in, one road out. Uh, maybe later on, once we expand this a little bit, we'll do another one down here, just to keep industry away from uh, the the main central area of the town. We don't want all the trucks coming through. We'll give the trucks an exit to come onto the highway over here. The thing about small towns is they're often very, very simple in the sense that they have a, a main road and then they have, you know, kind of little offshoot roads, very, very lightly populated. Uh, usually in the main district, they're going to start kind of gritty. So you're going to have like a, a main street with a couple of roads that, that border alongside of it, kind of like this. I think that looks, yeah, that looks about right. Don't, don't go over there. Whoops. Kind of screwed that up. Oh, I hate when it does that. Okay. There we go. And then after, you know, a few of these, and we're going to do a couple more, then you start getting kind of the outlier ones that are that are on the border of the town, and there's only a dirt road out to them. And we're going to do those too, because I think it's going to look pretty cool. And, and usually those roads are not... Uh, gridded up like this one is, but they would be winding roads and, and that sort of thing. So let's pull a road. Uh, let's let's start these going the other way. And uh, we'll we'll do a block. Whoops. Oh come on. Is that no man? I I can't. Almost straight? No, not even close. Um. What we're going to do is just switch the direction of the blocks here. So we'll just do some little residential blocks, kind of like this. And we're not going for a huge population in here at all. Just very, very small. And this will be like the center of town, and, and that's basically going to be it. Let's just draw this over so we can get a symmetrical look going. Whoops, not that way. How far did I go here? Let's just test this. One, two. Okay. Let's demolish this just so we can get it right. There's one. And there's two. And then over one and back down. Over one. Back down. Over one and back down. And finally, there we go. Okay, so this will be... Uh, you'll see in every small town, this is without fail, this street here is always little commercial areas. They want to get the uh, traffic coming off of the highway and uh, always, always, always commercial. Uh, I don't even think I'm going to put any uh, high residential or dense residential at all. I think we're just going to do uh, light zoning all the way throughout this. So let's get these put in. We don't want a ton and ton of big houses in here, but unfortunately we can't control that a lot. I would like to see like two by twos only. I suppose if I had the patience, I could do that. Just zone one square at a time as we talked about, uh, I think it was last episode, where you, you zone two by two like this, you wait till it fills, then you zone the next two by two, you wait till that fills. It takes forever, but you can control the size of the buildings that way. Okay, so we've got our basic town core uh, a town will have a water tower no doubt so let's put this uh, somewhere outside of the city uh, let's go right about there and we'll start piping it in right up the main road I think and then we'll just split it off put it right underneath the roads because it that makes the most sense Yeah, there's no zoning there. Okay, so we need a little bit of power. 
Uh, today's day and age, I would like to think that a small town would use a wind turbine instead of burning fossil fuels, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, we'll get some power cables running somewhere close to where we need them, uh, which looks to be right there for the time being. And we'll work on getting those out of there once we start developing a little bit more. Sewage. We don't have any sewage dumping here, do we? So we're going to have to connect to the main city uh, for that purpose because I don't want to build any other sewage pumps on this side. So let's grab a uh, pipe. And there we go. What else are there complaints? Are we going to need to build any garbage facilities out here? I'm curious. Uh, one thing that a little town may have is a, a small fire department, and usually it's a volunteer fire department, I understand, and maybe a, a little police department as well. And obviously, usually small towns can manage to get at least one doctor. You have to pay them a boatload of money, but you can get them. And uh, so we've got all our essential services in our sleepy little town so far. Here's the part I'm, I've been looking forward to, and I want to do these freeform tool uh very kind of out of the way houses there, there's always going to be little houses like this in in small towns so you'll have like a street that just kind of just goes to nowhere like let's say something like that little serpentine uh, and then off of these you might have like a private road say that'll come like that's on that that's getting onto that hill yet. I don't want to build on that. How close are we on that? Oh, you know, it's not that bad. I thought it was steeper than that. Uh, let's let's just grab one off of here. So you have like a private road. And then you'll have like one private residence, right? Let's do a 4x4. Four four. I made that a 5x4. Five four. So 4x4. Four four, and then uh, we'll grab some farm props in uh, in the next episode to decorate this a little bit. But... We'll, we'll just drop some little farm props around here and make it look like it's a little small farm. Um, let's do a couple more of these. There's obviously going to be a few around this area. So let's grab, uh, let's grab this guy here. Bring him out a few. And we'll make a, we'll make a couple buildings out here. Just like a, a couple, uh, like a father and son, two generation type farm area. I know the house isn't going to look like a farm, unfortunately, but um, let's uh, let's grab a windy road now. We'll use the freeform tool, and this will still be a private road, but this guy got creative with his. And uh, he wanted to live on a nice curvy road. So let's also just do a one spot there. And uh, let's make another, make another building like that. And you know what? Some of the people probably started to develop outside of the city, closer to the city. So let's put just a little bit of, of housing in here. I'm going to keep these a little smaller, though. Let's only do uh, three by threes. So let's get rid of this. Well, you know what? I'll do some of that uh, stage zoning. So we'll do a two by two, another two by two. Keep it really small, really, really small. Let's try a couple other different sizes. Let's do a 2x4 and see what that comes out like. And let's also do a 3x3 three three set. Not right next to them though. I don't, I don't want to do that. Let's let's keep this a little further away. A couple 3x3 three three spots. Curious to see how these fill in. And uh, let's grab some piping and we'll pull that down here so they've got some water resources. And I guess we're going to have to do these remote guys as well. Although, you know, maybe they have their own water tanks. But I'm going to have to pay for that. I don't want to pay for their water tanks. Let's hook them up to this system. It's too bad that I'd have to pay a maintenance fee on that. And uh, I wish I could just plunk it down and call it a day. But I don't think we're going to be able to do that. we got this guy out here yet to do. You know, we could have done their own water towers. Because I'm going to have to do... Uh, I'm going to have to do their own... Uh, electrical as well so yeah we could have done a wind turbine for each how much are these 6,080 a week yeah that's not bad we're making a lot of money um, when they need it I'll put it in I might I might not even put a wind turbine in now that I think about it because it's gonna generate a ton of noise electricity really 
Uh, is this not enough to service? Is that not enough? Oh, you know what? We didn't even uh, concern ourselves with the wind power there. Or uh, I didn't even think about it. Um, this is 7 megawatts. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's put, let's put a couple of these in and we'll run some cable down. I'm going to demolish this other one because it's, uh, it's in a 4 megawatt area, which is really bad for a wind turbine. That should take care of everybody's needs. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, so let's continue on with our roads. Let's say there's one uh, public road and there's kind of a hamlet. This is kind of a, uh, a hamlet resort village type of thing. And there's going to be several houses along here. And uh, people built fairly close to each other. We're going to do 3 by 3s only. And we'll give a little bit of space. These are like those kind of houses you see on the outskirts of the city that are they they're trying to be country houses, but really, you know, you're you're 10 minutes outside of the city. You're not a country house. So let's zone some of these guys in. Mini acreages. They're kind of mini acreages. Three by threes only. I think that'll look pretty neat once it's developed. Let's get some piping under there. So that they have something to drink and some sewage that's a pretty cool little layout now let's um let's plunk the industry down that's going to be the most important it's going to fuel the economy of this town and uh, eventually make the city want to take them over so we're going to get a road going up the hill here nice uh gradual curve yeah let's put it right there it's a pretty cool looking road. Okay, now, industry time. I think I want to do a couple of offshoot spurs from this road. And you know what? Let's look at our resource map first. Okay, this is a very good area. So we will... Uh, too bad I can't leave this up while I'm drawing the roads. But I know where they are. It's down here. So let's grab a couple offshoot roads from here. Just like this. And uh, I think we're going to make this fairly efficient as far as space is concerned. So we'll just go over one and back up. And we'll do one more for now. And then we'll let the industry grow and expand later on. So we want to district this. And uh, I will get a subscriber name for this for the next one, but I didn't write the next one down. We're going to still name the town after our next subscriber. But uh, we need this to designate that this is an ore industry area. So now we've designated it as ore. Now we can zone our industrial and watch our ore industry sprout and prosper. Excellent. They're going to need some water, so let's grab some pipes and run them under the road here. And they'll need some power. So, let us grab some power. It's very close by already, so we'll just bring it in. Uh, let's say right about there. That should work for now. Speed up. I want to see this. Uh, I want to see this work. We don't have a ton of industrial demand, but I think I think this will pop up soon enough. In the meantime, let us go district our town. Okay, Cozy Square. Nope, this is going to be called Hendrick. Thanks very much, Hendrick, for the subscription. I know you've been a, a long-time subscriber, as long as my channel can allow, which is only, well, three months. But hey, anyway, I appreciate that you uh, put your early confidence in the channel. Thanks very much. Uh, we'll change this one up next time, as I said. I thought I saw somebody pop up in here, but maybe not. Maybe I was looking over here. Let's take an overview of this and just see what we've got. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Once this develops a little bit, um, I think we'll we'll work on it. I want to find some reference pictures because the one thing when you're trying to build a little bit of realism in your city is you should be looking at reference pictures. And that's what I've been doing for some of the other projects that I've done in the city. Um, and I, I'm going to be doing a, a very advanced train station coming up right away. And for that, I've been looking at some railway yard pictures just to see the types of features 
and the way that they lay out a railway yard in real life, uh, which will make some sense when you look at it in the game, it'll be like, oh, that looks like a railway yard. I hope, I hope, I hope that it actually functions as well as a, a railway yard in real life. You never know. Um, you know, like bus lines, like we've, we've been working on bus lines for quite some time in the city, trying to improve efficiency and get them working properly. And I've come to realize that they don't work in the game quite like you expect them to or, or like they are laid out in real life. Uh, so you have to work within the simulation and I'm hoping that the railway yard that I designed that's based upon the real one will function like it's supposed to in the game. Uh, and not, we won't have to play with it to get it to work inside of the simulation. So we'll see once we do it, but it's going to be a multi, 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 multi uh, tracked uh, railway yard where lots and lots of trains can come in. That's going to be my import export uh, train station. So you, you remember back when uh, we severed the, the import and export lines, this line here is only an internal, an intracity, and this is the interregion. Uh, transport terminal and they circle around with each other quite a bit as you can see the traffic in there flows between the two um, so I, I don't know I think I'm gonna do it on the import export one which will be on this line and this is a great place to do uh, the the big uh, transit depot the uh, import export depot so that will be coming up Probably not this week, likely next week is when I'm going to do that project because I, I still have some planning to do. I think we've got some industry here now. I've, I've never had an ore industry in any of the cities that I've done. I've done oil, I've done forestry, agriculture, but ore I've never done. This is pretty cool. Look at the grinder here. Ore Corporation, how original of your, you know, your marketing people should be proud of you. Uh, let's see, uranium, interesting. Another ore corporation. Man, these people are creative. I guess you don't have to be creative when you rake in money for raping the earth. What is this? Building title ore crusher. Huh. That's funny. Is that a bug? Steelworks. Iron Forge. <laughs> World of Warcraft fans will no understand that reference. Uh, okay. Well, this is neat. I've never had one of these industries before. Are they very polluting? I've never, I've never looked into it. Let's see what the district description says. Uh, moderately increase ground pollution, electricity consumption, moderately increase tax income, require natural resource or non-renewable. Um, yeah, they're polluting. I mean, that, that's why I like the other industries, the clean industries, forestry and agriculture, because they don't pollute. Uh, generic industry pollutes like crazy and so do these these ones they are all dirty industries but I wanted to try it we had the resource there once it runs out I'm gonna likely just demolish it and uh, change it over to forestry or, or something like that and uh, I like those industries much much better we still haven't got one of our outlying houses yet unfortunately I just wanted to see kind of what it looked like I like coming down to the ground level on these ones uh, the small towns are really cool to take a, a browse through you can see the, the big hill on the side here. You just, you, you really don't get a perspective of how uh, undulated the terrain is in the game until you come down to the ground level. When you're, when you're viewing it from above, you just don't see it. You get little, you know, inklings that there's a hill there, but you don't really realize, like, this one is a, is a big hill. I'm not going to go all the way up there, but you can see how far away the, the summit of the hill is, where those uh, turbines are. So we've got a fair amount of people coming. We've got electricity issues. Why would that be? Why are we having electricity issues? I, oh, I guess industry is probably sucking it up quite a bit. Let's resolve that, and then I want to take a quick tour of our little small town before we end the episode for the day. So we can... Uh, oh, my mouse is acting up on me here. What is going on? Hello? Mouse? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. Oh, wow. Uh, we might have to end the episode right here because uh, my mouse is not responding. It's moving only slightly and um, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, that's the... Uh, let's just swivel around here. Oh, there we go. Okay, we'll fix this up. <laughs> I was going to end her there, but my mouse decided to save the day. 
Uh, seven, seven. Can we get an eight anywhere? No, I think the best we'll get here is seven. So, plop maybe two more because the industry is going to soak a lot. We may need to put a recycling center somewhere in here. Were people complaining about garbage over here? This is a long way for our garbage trucks to drive from the big city. So let's put a uh, let's put a recycling center over by the polluty industry here, and that'll service our small town. They don't have water. Okay, grab that. Well, that uh, it really filled up quite fast, actually. Um, I don't want to grow it too too big right now. But uh, let's just have a look at our small town here. Still nobody came over here. I did zone these, right? Yeah, I did zone them. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll wait for that. We don't have a lot of residential demand as it is. We do have a lot of commercial demand. I wonder if we shouldn't bust out uh, one of this, this thing here. Bust out this residential and put some commercial in here as well. Just to meet that demand because there is a little bit. Let's get down to ground level and have a look at this place because I really love these dirt roads. It's such a nice change from the, the big city. So we're getting a lot of uh, trucks coming through here from the ore industry. And that's why we want to have a direct route uh, out to the highway. And we'll make it uh, a bigger road so that it has faster speeds. So that it'll be the shortest, quickest way to get back to the, to the highway without coming through town. Because we don't want all of this traffic coming through town. There should be a sleepy little hollow out in the country. Uh, too much traffic so far. But uh, let's see what we've got. We've got a burger joint. Uh, energy Sally's. I don't know what that is. Another burger joint. Burger joint. Marketplace. That This is nice and genuine looking small town stuff. Uh, there's a, a small town by the lake that I go to that has a grocery store that looks exactly like that. What's going up here? Just another house? Yeah, just another house. Cool place. Very cool place. I, I like the small town aesthetic. I'm going to look into some props and stuff that I can get to, to boost the, the aesthetic feel of this place for the next episode. And we'll finish it off then. But I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, I always appreciate the likes below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider it. I do appreciate all my subscribers, and I promise I will be putting out lots and lots of content for you to come back for. Thanks very much, guys. Until next time, bye-bye.